Airlines are already required to do it, so why not the Long Island Railroad? For the amount of money that Long Island commuters pay to use the railroad, they deserve certain guaranteed protections. Senator Charles Schumer is looking to improve the LIRR's level of accountability to customers by proposing a commuter bill of rights. 100% that's a great idea. Yeah. We should be informed. Sheila Dwyer of Mineola is a regular commuter and fully supports any improvements the LIRR can make to improve communication with its customers. Do you think that at this point they don't do the greatest job informing you? Sometimes, 50-50. 50-50. Yeah, they yeah. could do more. They could do more. The plan would better inform riders about service disruptions, such as the lightning strike that knocked out Jamaica Station's signal system last month. It would also require the LIRR to notify passengers of delays, provide information on alternative transit options, and let passengers off of stranded cars. Tom Proceda, Beth Page, would prefer for the LIRR to fix the problems that have led to the many weather-related delays he's experienced. Is it really unavoidable? Like, a lightning strike? <laughs> it just seems... It happens too often. Yeah. Like, lightning occurs all the time. Yeah. My house doesn't really lose power all the time. A spokeswoman for the LIRR tells Fios One News the agency is not aware of Schumer's proposal for Bill of Rights affecting its customers and says at this time the LIRR does not wish to comment. The bill would be similar to a passenger's Bill of Rights that has been established for the airline industry. Would you like for there to be better relationships between the railroad? Of course. Always, everybody wants a better relation. Sherry from Roslyn Heights says if Senator Schumer is on board to help Ally double our customers, so is she. Probably he knows what he's talking about. Reporting from Mineola, Ron Lee, Fios One News.